On today's episode of Curbside Finds, look at these fucking shelves, you guys. I literally manifested this, first of all, I would just like to say. I just posted on my Instagram stories about wanting to get some, like, walnut wooden bookshelves to replace this white one. And I talked about it in a vlog, if you guys saw that. Look at your prints. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, I've owned... Not just one, but two on the side of the road. We literally watched these people set them outside last night. And luckily, somehow they were still there today. So we got both of them. They both have these doors down at the bottom, which is nice that it has like closed storage, honestly. So yeah, they both have that. And don't get me wrong. These are not in perfect condition. They're pretty scuffed up, actually, especially like the top of the shelf. A little rough. That's not even the worst, though. This one is in worse condition. If you can see, what is that called? Like veneer? You know, it's like not fully solid wood. Anyways, as you can see, the edge is really chipped up, but the other side is even worse. Look at <laughs> that piece that came off of it. So I'm gonna glue that back down and we're gonna just hope that it's fine. I mean, it'll stand up fine. Like the quality is okay, bones wise. It just, you know, looks a little rough. Oh, and this one is also missing hardware. So I'm going to have to find something new. But yeah, I love the option of both closed and regular storage. I think I might actually move some of our VHS tapes to be in here or something. I don't know. We'll see. We have so much more room to work with. And each one of these does also have one extra shelf. Where is the other one? Oh, it's on the floor right there. Okay. This is going to scoot. I don't know what we'll do with that stool, but that's going to be pretty much like over here. Have the two shelves. These are also a little bit taller too, which is nice. They're just literally everything I could have wanted. So I'm hyped. You can't beat free y'all. But anyways, let's go ahead and get these bad boys cleaned up. are in their place I decided to relocate the cassette shelf because it just looked a little awkward if they weren't all the way in the corner and the chair needs room so it's definitely adjustment like I feel like Chris and I are both like oh, it's pretty different but it looks good it's going to be giving library vibes very soon here I'm very excited they're beautiful you couldn't even tell and I knew this like once they're back on the wall and like in their place you can't even tell that like they're scuffed up honestly at all moving a couple of things around mostly on the walls but i think it looks really good and it's obviously going to look even better once we actually have stuff on the shelf so that's my next step now that all of this is off i can't believe we had that much crammed onto the white shelf that's not even all of it all of these records too like that was all on one white shelf. Are you so serious? That's fucking crazy. Okay, I brought you guys a little bit closer. I don't know why it took me so long to get my tripod, but I'm gonna start decorating these shelves now. So let me show you something. This handle fell off of this. I can't really like get this open now. I might have to use like a knife or something to kind of, yeah, I, like, this is like stuck. And it's on a fucking magnet. So, anyways, um, and these don't even have handles at all. And I do actually want to replace these because I do not like them. So I think I'm gonna do all matching handles on the bottom four, and then either just 
somehow put this back on. It just needs like a little tiny screw or get a new one that matches with the bottom ones too. We have Menards close by that we really like to go to and Home Depot, I guess. I don't know, but I want something like unique though. Like I don't want something super basic. Um, if you're from St. Louis, please let me know if there's any sort of like, I don't even know what to call it, but just like if any antique stores or like rummage type of shops, I don't know, have like hardware like that. Cause I watch McKenna on YouTube and she always goes to these places in like fucking LA and Texas that have like insane hardware that you can get for like a dollar a piece. So that's the vibe that I'm going for. Chris got called into work, so it's just me and you. Um, and I get to really do whatever the fuck I want. So he made coffee before he went to work, so now I have a cup for myself. This is one of my favorite mugs, by the way. It's so cute. I'm pretty sure it's from the 70s. It's from that like mushroom collection. Anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, I I'm gonna get to town on this. I don't have much of a plan. I'm mainly concerned about my vinyl. That's what needs a home. So I'm just gonna take a few here. Oh my god, no, shut up. That fit so much better. On the white shelf, those were hanging off so much, and I was always worried that that was like damaging. I just realized that these two shelves are not even. How is that possible? Anyways, well, I'm fucking hyped because I might fill this whole bottom shelf with vinyl. But the only thing is, so I have this vintage lamp that was actually my great grandma's, so it's really special to me. My mom had it for a long time, and I don't know if she just like couldn't get it to work or what, but if you can't tell, it's, it's not in the best condition. And I really was thinking about putting this. Yeah. I, there's no sort of like hole for the cords, which I could easily, well, it'd have to be big enough to fit that through. But I think I really like that there. Finally, my heat turned off. I'm sorry, but you know. It was literally like 70 degrees like a day ago and now it's like 30 so that's cool. Love that for us here in St. Louis. So yeah I don't want to stack like all of my vinyl right here because it's gonna lean and it's gonna slide which will drive me crazy. So unless I can find like a good bookend type of situation to hold this all in and then if I do keep this all on this one shelf Another thing is that I will definitely want to organize it. Yeah, see how much it's leaning already? But I don't really want to put it on any other shelves because something I noticed, again, you gotta love the quirkiness of this type of shit. These shelves are not, I don't think, original to this because I might have to take you guys off for this to show you. So these are where the pegs are supposed to go so that you can adjust the shelves. But if you want it to sit all the way back, see, it doesn't line up. And it looks like the people who had this before drilled another hole so that the shelf could sit there. So I don't know if that's from a different shelf. That'd be crazy because it matches great. But yeah, I just don't fully know what's going on with that. So I can't actually adjust these unless I were to get a shelf that fit better because i don't want it to sit like not flush back against it you know what i mean and you know another thing too if i really wanted to if i ever replaced these with like a different slot of wood and stained it to match i could get two and then have multiple shelves and not just the one because yeah the the scale is a little off but yeah, i don't think we'll grab just one vinyl what even is this i don't know anyways um yeah, like, see how much that hangs off the edge? That's how it was on our old shelf, and I don't like that. I like this, where it's, like, not even an inch hanging off. Let's continue on. Whatever. You guys are getting a really good taste of my record collection right now, and I don't know how much it's changed since I filmed the last one, but if you guys would like an updated one, let me know in the comments. I would gladly film another one of those. That is all my vinyl for this shelf, so... What I may even do, because that's leaning way too much, and I feel like that's just too much weight on the further back records. I might, I'm going to move this lamp. I may even do it like up here. I'm going to split this maybe in half. I'm 
move these over. That's how I did it on my white shelf so that it was kind of equally leaned. And then I can maybe, I, I think I'm gonna have to drill a quarter hole somewhere on this shelf. Um, keep my Google Home right there in the middle like I had it on my old one. All these trophies from Chris, oh, you guys can't even see. Um, he has trophies from when he's won skate contests or like this one, he won photographer of the year in the skate scene. So I'm gonna put those back on the top of the bookshelves cause I think that looks really cool. Oh my gosh, my vinyl looks so good. I'm so happy right now. You could do, oh my gosh, that's goody. Beatles. I wanna do like these smaller books on these skinnier shelves, I think. I think these were all like stacked before because I couldn't even fit them all. This is going great so far. so good oh my god i think for our magazines i'm gonna leave them stacked actually <sighs> this could all change at any time i'm gonna put our seven inches over here maybe able to stand a lot of these up maybe just ate up so much of this decor like I'm actually kind of mind blown right now oh we do have a lot of cameras still that I'll kind of intertwine wherever those are all zines right there these are two books from one of our friends that does photography here this is looking great I'm loving this actually Oh, this was a freaking find. <laughs> the tops of these bookshelves are disgusting. are actually made out of like reclaimed skateboards so makes it even more sentimental i do have a couple plants and stuff too shelf sitters by the way there's only one that we don't use that's because it's just too evil they don't even make film for it anymore also don't worry any candles up here i do not burn them on the shelves i do have this photo that i could put somewhere not really sure where I would link to you though, because I'm actually like, I think I like how this looks. This is completely empty, and both of those on the bottom are completely empty. So, that I say it's pretty impressive. I do have like this amp that could go in storage under here. I think I'm gonna leave one side of the underneath storage for Chris so that he can put away some of his fingerboarding stuff and have it like not be seen. 
This shelf I already talked to you guys about. I am going to replace it eventually once I find a good like TV console credenza type of situation. And I have no idea what I'll end up finding or what I'll end up getting one day. I would ideally like to get a record player one and hopefully that would have storage but they don't always. So I'm definitely kind of thinking about like what the best thing to do with my movies would be whether I keep them right here around the TV or not. But off the bat, I know there's definitely, like, I could put some of it away. If I can figure out how to get the one thing open, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some of them. Just, just clear this up a little bit, because it is, like, overflowing right now. Really quickly, though, I wanted to show you guys this angle. So this is Chris's whole fingerboarding station which is great and I'm not going to take any of it away from him at all but he does have like some photo stuff on this bottom shelf that I might ask him if he would rather put that away in storage because yeah I mean we just have so much room that like we might as well use it so I'll see what he's wanting to do and kind of go from there but yeah like he has all this stuff under his desk that could be stored away better or like I said just like his photo stuff maybe I don't know but this is going great so far. I'm seriously so hyped. This is just meant to be. I so wish that I was just filming this. So first of all, the original screw that's for the hardware fell out in here. So all is good there. Um, and then yeah, there's two magnets actually that snap this into place. I'm so lucky that this still like works and is in great condition. I was a genius. I found this screw and it was the perfect fucking width for there. So I screwed this in and then I was able to snap it because otherwise I was not going to be able to open that at all. So I'm going to try to use that same screw to do the hardware and fingers crossed that it works. Because I actually really like this piece of hardware. I just don't like the other ones. Let me get a screwdriver so that I can get that nice and tight, but I think that should be able to stay and I can still use that. I hate, I hate flatheads so much. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's on way tighter. Perfect. Okay, I'm so glad I was able to fix that. Okay, so for now, this is what this shelf is looking like. It definitely looks better. I moved all of like our kids' movies off of it and our CDs slash DVDs to keep those safe, the ones that are like stacked, and all of our like DVD cases too. So now it's just VHS. I think it looks a lot better and more minimal. I don't know. I might add like knickknacky things to the sides or something, but that's what it looks like for now. We will have to find a home for Chris's boards, which... I had plans to hang this one up. Where was I gonna do that? I think I was gonna do that above the TV and now we can't because we have the lights there. Anyways, there's already so much going on in this wall. Listen, I'm thinking about moving the Beatles poster back over here. I don't know, I like it in that corner, but like, I think the cassette shelf might be better and make more sense over there. Cause I'm not sure that that's gonna look good above there. It might just be a lot, you know what I mean? So anyways. I'm not gonna hang anything yet. I'm gonna kind of sit with it for a little bit, but I need to move like the couch and stuff out a little bit more into the room because it's pushed a little too far back right now. And yeah, anyways, this is how the shelf is looking though. Ignore all the other clutter, but I think it looks amazing. I like having the stuff on top. I really like how they came together, honestly. Like I am mad chilling with this. I mean, I might tweak it a little bit here and there, but like, this is great. This is everything I had crammed onto the other white shelf. And then that, I'll show you guys. This has all of the kids' movies in here for when I'm babysitting, along with a few other like random ones that I just didn't really want on the shelf. And then yeah, all of our DVDs, our Xbox games, CDs, more CDs and DVDs that are just floating. So I'm really, really, really happy with that. And then all of our vinyl fits on this shelf. I mean, maybe one day it'll eventually be, like, full, 
all the way we'll see i think that would look insane it would be so good but yeah um i never do get these open they do this thing it's not a magnet but yeah the only thing holy shit the only thing i have down here is hello focus please the only thing i have down here is an amp so but yeah since these are uh I might have to do that same trick that I did to get that thing on there, on these, in order to open them. But we don't really need to access this right now. It's honestly fine. There's still so much room in there. And I don't even know what we're going to put in there yet. So, anyways, these shelves are literally fucking incredible. I'm in love. Oh my gosh, it's literally perfect. Honestly, it would be cool to even get one more to just fill the whole wall. But that's, like, really ambitious. And I'm not going to find any more matching ones of these obviously so plus we need a spot for the chair but anyways this looks so good it's not like the perfect match to the coffee table but it's close enough and it brings way more like wood elements in here which i really love so yeah now to just eventually get the other two freaking guitars hung up on this wall and then rearranging a few other little things tweaking it up a bit i still also i don't know if i've ever told you guys but i got this shelf to hang right here please ignore the cracks in my walls okay i live in a very old building and it just it happens but anyways i really need to hang that up there which i'm probably gonna have like my parents or something do whenever they come and hang my guitar so that when people come over they can actually hang their coats up let's figure out now i'm sorry my dishwasher is being really loud but i have to figure out what to do with this white shelf because it looks good. It matches with like all of our white cabinets, the white in the table, and the chairs. So I'm thinking, I mean, I love where I have all this stuff hung up. I literally just hung that for Chris. And then I love these two because these are all photos of us. But maybe I could relocate those somewhere. I'm thinking the shelf might look good in that little spot against the wall right there. Or maybe right in this corner. So I'm going to try both and see what I like. I think if I put it over there, you guys can't really see that, but I feel like that just might be too much going on since we have the whole gallery wall. So I am pretty much just gonna see if it looks good in this corner. Of course, I'm gonna have to relocate that lamp somewhere and the photos and a little bit of this gallery wall, but let's just, let's see. I didn't think I was going to, but let's try it over here. Damn, that is flush with the wall. I'll have to move the gallery wall around a little bit. Ugh, no. Ugh, I don't know. Hold on. Like, does it look weird because it's right next to the shoe rack and stuff? I feel like that's what's throwing it off for me. But it's also so hard to tell when there's nothing on it. I just feel like it did kind of stick out right here a little bit too much. Hold on. photo down from up there and once the cat food bowls are back where they go I think this is actually gonna work pretty well it just may not stay I'm really not fully sure yet but we're gonna just work with it for now and see what happens but I'm gonna show you guys this trick that I do with the cardboard it's very self-explanatory it's nothing revolutionary but if you have a piece of furniture that like I mean I need this to stand a little bit further back right so I just literally fold up some cardboard and slide it under here. And 
then once there's weight on the bookshelf too, it'll stable itself out even more. I mean, it's not perfect, but it is a lot better. I'm gonna see what I can pull from like my kitchen and stuff that I can decorate with and go from there. I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun with it because I have literally no clue what to put on these shelves. <laughs> 